Welcome to Strong and Balance. My name is Pat Agostino. I'm a physical therapist here with PeopleFit. If you have never done this type of class before, we always ask you to consult your physician or physical therapist first. All these exercises can be done at a countertop, um, besides the ones at the end where we will either get into bed or onto the floor to finish up our routine. And with that, let's begin. Feet about hips width apart, knees are soft. That's an athletic position. Pull your head up off your shoulders. Then we're gonna do some rotation in a circle. Again, if there are certain exercises you know you should not be doing, you can hold off on them. If there are other ones that are fine with you, then just go right for it. And let's reverse that circle. Great. And we're going to do some arm circles in one direction. Remember, sternum is up, shoulders are back. And let's reverse that, please. Great. Little arch in your back, belly button in, and you're going to march in place. Fantastic. Feet nice and wide. Let's bend those knees, stick your bottom out, and we're going to do a little bit of rotation. Belly button tight to your spine. So that you're controlling the sway with those abs. Fantastic, come on back up. We're gonna come back and forward now with the arms, just a little arm swing. If you'd like to warm up your lower body and your knees don't bother you, you can step back at a diagonal and slowly start to pull yourself back up with this front leg. If you notice, my knee isn't sticking over my toe, it's kind of a little bit behind. That way I know I'm gonna pull in these glutes to pull myself back up, arms go back, leg goes back. In five, four, three, two, and one. We're gonna do from here is we're gonna take a fairly long step forward with one foot. Knees are both gonna be bent. And we're just gonna fly the airplanes. And we're not going to fly a lot with our wings. We're going to stick out the hips side to side. This reminds me of my last trip to Florida. I was about to say, stop me if I've already told you the story, but uh, you can't because I muted you. Oh, so unfair. Good. But it's really about sticking the hips up. The stewardess starts off the trip by saying, before we were in, in the air, um, the captain has advised me that it was going to be a very rough flight. Uh, so make sure that you have your throw-up bag in front of you at all times. I'll be passing through the cabin to uh, give you one if you don't have one. Good. Let's switch feet. That's how it started. It only got worse from there. Good. And arms out and side to side. The captain quickly came on the line and said, we are going to adjust our route. Don't worry about those bags. Good, in five, four, three, two, and one. So this movement side to side is what's gonna help you with your balance. Eat about hips width apart. Let's come back onto your heels and up onto your toes. If you can do it without holding on, fantastic. If you need to be in front of a, like I said, a countertop or the back of a sturdy chair. It's a good place to do it. And really see if you can grasp the ground with your toes. In five, 
four, three, two, and one. Let's bring your feet together. Bring your right arm out to the side, hand on your hip. Let's bend both those knees, slide your left foot back, and we're gonna kick that leg out to the side. If you can do it without quite bringing your foot back down to the ground, maybe just gently touch and come back up or just tap your toe to your heel. Five, four, three, two, and one. Let's go off to the other side. Same thing, slide that foot back. And let's kick it out and back. Remember this knee is soft. This, if you find yourself falling over, most likely this hip is not in. Keep that hip in. You'll strengthen that at the same time. For five, four, three, two, and one. So from here, that's all we're going to do is keep your feet about hips width apart. Let's lean over to the side and let's just get that feeling of getting way to the outside border of that foot, okay? And then we're gonna simply touch your toe out to the side and your heel to the inside of your calf. Toe to the side, heel to calf. I say simple, but if you have trouble standing on one foot, this is going to be a challenge. If this is super easy, let's wrap that toe around and you can hit the outside of the calf. Toe to the floor, outside of the calf, forward to the heel. And if you notice this, top, this leg will say, eh, yeah, I'm getting a little tired here. If you have your knee bent, if you don't, you're not gonna feel much of anything for five, four, three, Two and one, fantastic. Let's go over to the other side. Again, let's shift over, stay over there, touch and return. Touch and return or touch and swing around to the back side. Hope all you mothers out there or motherly people had a great Mother's Day yesterday. And five, four, three, two, and one. If you have a weight, we're gonna to go to your weight and we're gonna start off with a little bit of a bent over row. So that's all you're going to do is either hold onto a wall or preferably your knee, one leg forward, lean forward at your waist, nice long spine. You're gonna look three to four feet in front of you on the floor and you're gonna roll up, keeping your elbow tight by your body. And eight, seven, six, Five, four, three, two, and one. Let's switch to the other side, please. Take a long step forward. We're going to row up. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Strengthen those lower back muscles a little bit. We're gonna sit down, squeeze your glutes, upright position, you're gonna press and return. Again, if it bothers your shoulders, maybe you only come up halfway, and just be careful on your lower back with this one. If you have back issues, great. You can just extend your arms, so belly buttons in, glutes are tight, or five, Four, three, two, and one. Feet no wider than hips width apart. 
and we're going to try to do a circle coming up about three quarters. I'm sorry, not a full circle, and then coming on back down. Okay, try to keep your shoulders in a straight plane as you come up. Belly buttons in. Good. Five. Four. And you may notice your breathing comes up a little bit. Most overhead exercises. And if you need to shorten it up, we'll cause your breathing to go up. Two. Good. Last one. Fantastic. Great. Catch your breath. Reset. Knees soft. Come up and over the other way. Three quarters. Great. And seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. Fantastic. Let's get rid of that weight. <clears throat> so let's get into one of your balance positions. You can try feet together, which is the easiest with your knees soft, heel to the inside of your big toe, one foot in front of the other, or the most challenging is to lift the front foot up off the ground. We're going to take your right thumb, drop it down low. Your left thumb is going to come up high. And now you're going to look at one thumbnail and then the other thumbnail. Okay? Thumbnail to thumbnail. You're stretching that top arm up, but you want to stay short. So keep those knees soft. Thumbnail to thumbnail. Try to refocus your eyes on each thumbnail if that is humanly possible. And remember, keep those hips loose. You want to be able to catch yourself by shifting your hips. If you're finding you're stepping a lot, maybe move to an easier position. If it's super easy, maybe challenge yourself today and try a harder position. We're going to do three more. Two. And one. Nice job. Let's reverse feet, whatever you position you were in. Let's go the opposite way and let's reverse hands. Okay. Thumbnail to thumbnail. If it bothers you to hold your shoulder up like that, maybe you find a spot on your ceiling that you can look at. And five, four. Three, two, and one. Come on down and shake out those arms. Excellent, excellent work. We are going to walk a uh, tightrope at this point. So if you can find yourself three or four feet of space, for most of you starting walking with your heel to the inside of your big toe, if you're doing this one on your own at home, nice hallway that you can grab onto both sides if you need is a great spot so let's start off heel to the inside of your big toe and step forward and pause step forward if you want to challenge yourself bring the foot directly in front of the other foot step forward and step forward now we do the same thing reverse step on back step on back Back and back. Let's go forward, 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 and forward. If back is an issue for you, remember shift your weight onto your back foot, then swing the leg around. That'll help you shift back and then swing around and step back and step back. We could do a head turn with this, that would be great. 
if if this was enough challenge just stepping forward that's fine just continue with that otherwise step forward turn your head right and left step forward right and left step forward right left step forward turn your head right and left let's come on back stepping turning your head right and left step back right and left check in with those knees make sure they're still bent step on back right and left one more step on back right and left okay let's come back up to a normal position here where you're going to stretch out your calves and your hip flexors to do that you're going to turn your right toe slightly in nice long step forward with the left foot belly buttons tight and shoulders are back let's keep a little weight on that back foot if you need to hold on to a wall or a chair that's fine and you're going to bend the front knee to get a stretch hopefully in this back hip or calf Remember, try to keep contact with your heel on the ground on that back foot. Okay, and let's switch to the other side, please. Same exact thing, toes slightly in. Stretch forward. Great stretch, especially for your lower back when you stretch out this hip flexor. If they're tight from sitting, it's a great one to do. Maybe if you're at your computer for a long period of time, just get up. You can hold on to a counter and stretch out that hip flexor. <clears throat> In 15 more seconds, please. Okay. We're gonna work on standing on one foot and maybe a little bit of stepping or hopping side to side with some movement. Uh, this exercise out of all of them, it puts you at higher risk for falls. If you need to put hold on to something or be in front of something, that's fine. But that's all we're gonna do is we're gonna hop or step over to your left, then back to your right, and then left. And you're gonna to try to stick the landing, okay? So you're gonna to try to land on a nice, uh, soft foot with your knee bent, and you're going to try to fly the airplane, okay? So we're going to do the same thing. We're going to step or hop left, right, left, and hold. You're going to try to hold it. Fantastic. I'm going to do two more. Left, right, left, and hold. Good weight-bearing exercise as long as you're not pounding too hard. Good. One more left right and hold i like this exercise because it simulates if you tripped over something and you were kind of staggering to the side how you catch yourself okay let's go to the opposite side so we're going to go right left right and hold good we're going to do it again right left right and hold Good, one more, right, left, right, and hold, fly the plane. Great, and come on back down. All right, if you wanna grab yourself a glass of water, we are going to get on the floor or into bed. If you have a mini resistance band, similar to this guy right here, um, one thing you may want to do is at some point, take a look at your band, make sure you don't have any tears in it. If you can see, I'm starting to get a tear on the top of my band here. Maybe it's time to replace that before it snaps because it will snap on you. So I kind of stretch my band every once in a while. Just take a look and I will see you on the floor or in bed. I'm seeing you in bed, that means I make house calls. Okay, so let's do this. We're gonna start off again with our planks 
or if you have lower back issues or osteoporosis, you're going to do a pelvic tilt, which is done in the position I'm currently in, pushing my lower back flat, holding for five seconds and relaxing. I am not using a pillow. If you're, if this is a strain on your neck, you will certainly could have a pillow underneath your head. Otherwise, we're going to come down onto your stomach, elbows underneath your shoulders, hands flat or clasped together, belly button in. Let's lift on up onto your knees, or you can try it onto your toes. If you're doing your pelvic tilts, remember it is one, two, three, four, five, and relax. One, two, three, four, five, and relax. Don't work, if you're doing a plank, don't work through lower back pain. And always err on bringing your hips up a few inches if you need to. I don't want you hanging down like this with a big arch in your back, okay? One, two, three, four, five. If you're doing your plank, we have about 10 more seconds. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Let's come right onto your back now. And we're gonna do a gentle stretch, pulling knee to chest, or you can grab behind the knee if your knees bother you. And let's switch to the other side. You notice I'm doing it with one leg straight. Fantastic. Feet are going to be flat on the ground. Belly buttons in. Again, if you have osteoporosis, you're going to do just a pelvic tilt, pushing flat. Otherwise, we're going to do a bridge. Belly button in, squeeze the glutes, lift on up. Nice flat foot. One, two, three, four, five, and down. If you want to focus on your glutes and your hamstrings a little bit more, you can try the exercise with your toes up, squeezing, and coming back down. We have three more. Come on up. Two, three, four, five, and down. Two more. Lift on up. Two, three, four, five. Last one. Come on up. Two, three, four, and five. And let's go to your resistance band. If you have a resistance band that you want to use, you don't have to. We're going to place it above your knees. If you typically do it in one direction, maybe you start on the opposite side today. Okay, so the knee, the band goes just above your knees. You're going to lay on your side. Knees are flexed, hips are flexed. And you're going to open and close the clamshell. By opening, closing that knee, keeping your feet together. Good. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Let's push that hip away as we raise the whole bent knee up and down. This is our fire hydrant. Knee and foot, lift up and then meet. And they say, hello, knee, nice to meet you, knee. And the foot says, hello, foot, nice to meet you, foot. Good. For five, four, three, two, and one. Good. Straighten your legs out in line with your body. Let's roll your hips slightly forward and extend your top leg back so your top toe is touching your bottom heel. And let's come up and down with a straight leg raise out to the up and down. If just holding your leg up in the air is enough of an exercise, then just hold your leg up in the air instead of coming up and down. Otherwise, you can do eight, seven, 
six, five, four, three, two, and one. Fantastico. Let's go to the other side, please. We're going to bend up those knees and your hips. Hand is going to be on your hip, and you're going to open and close your clamshell. Making sure that your hip is not rolling backwards. You want the hip to do the work and not your lower back. In eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. And now we do our fire hydrant, stretching the band or just raising the leg up and down. You almost, you're gonna to try to push your hip away from your ear. So down away from you. And then again, you'll make sure that the hip is doing the work. For six, five, four, three, two, and one. Let's straighten out your legs in line with your body. Let's take the top foot and slide it back until your toe is touching your heel and let's come up and down. In eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Excellent work. Let's come right onto your back and remove the resistance band. We actually left a little time for stretching today. On your back with your knees bent, you're going to cross your right ankle over your left knee. Okay. Your back stays nice and flat. If you have a hip replacement, just go nice and gentle with this one. With your right hand, you can push the knee away. To feel a stretch in your right hip. If you're not feeling much of a stretch, grab both of your hands, reach through the hole, and grab your left leg. And you can gently bring that left knee up towards your chest. When you do that, that will give you more of a stretch in that right hip. And I'm going to hold this for about 30 seconds. Okay, let's bring both feet flat on the ground. Let's take your left ankle, cross it over your right knee, and you can gently push that knee away. Or again, reach through and grab behind your right thigh and bring that right thigh up toward your chest. And 15 more seconds. Great. Knees and feet together, arms out to the side, and you're just going to let both knees kind of fall side to side. Just to get a little stretch in your lower back muscles. And with that, I will leave you to do any stretches that you typically do. And I wish you guys all a wonderful, wonderful week. Thank you. Have a great day. Take care.